How's everyone doing? It is crazy snowy here in New Jersey, the Garden State. Uh, they were expecting like 10 to 14 inches was the forecast. Uh, it was supposed to start last night. Nothing happened. Nothing happened in the morning. Everybody was like, oh, I guess we're not going to get anything, including myself. And all of a sudden, it was like a blizzard. And uh, my roommate and I went out there and we shoveled our driveway, our neighbor's driveway, because it's a... Uh, you know, I think there's just, uh, she has a husband, but I don't think he was there, and she has two kids, and then uh, the father, elderly father, who doesn't really speak English is with him, so, you know, we were uh, shoveling their driveway, and then he pulled up the elderly uh, father who uh, doesn't speak English, he knows like one or two words, and then he got stuck, so we had to shovel his car out too, because he decided to just gun it while uh, there's still some snowbank there. <laughs> um, so that was, uh, that was kind of funny, but... Um, we ended up uh, shoveling out a couple other people's driveways, a um, lady down the street that I'm friends with. And then uh, when we were walking back, I saw this other lady, and I, you know, I was talking to her for a minute, never uh, introduced before, so I did. And then I felt bad. I was like, let's go shovel her driveway too. So we shoveled, uh, I guess, five driveways total. And this last lady was really nice. She gave us uh, a couple beers. It was from uh, Flying Fish Brewery, which is also a brewery from New Jersey. And it was a uh, Exit 4. It was a American Triple. Uh, kind of like a Belgian kind of mixture right there had the maltiness and the hops is really good beer So that was nice, but whew, For those of you who don't know I do have a heart condition. I probably shouldn't have been shoveling this heavy snow I'm supposed to have open heart surgery in the next couple of years uh, This is kind of a vlog s but I do have some movies to show you guys too But I was just like wherever you are. I hope you're warm. I hope you're safe I know there was a nor'easter like last week and there's still people in certain areas that are without power and while we were shoveling there's tons of branches coming down and like one like right across the street from us um i guess because the weight of the snow it's so heavy it's the heaviest snow i've shoveled in on a, probably a couple of years um so yeah we got done shoveling all the drivers we got back to our place and it's like we barely it looked like we didn't even shovel because all the snow was back like so we would have gotten uh because we shoveled like six inches the first go around so it looks like we have that again right now so uh, pretty crazy. Um, I hope you guys are staying warm and safe. But before the snow came, uh, I ended up getting a pretty good mail day. So I figured I'd go ahead and show it to you. Um, first up is Downsizing on 4K Ultra HD. This is from Paramount. comes out on the 20th. And it was a cute little thing that they did. Sometimes they do like little promo stuff. And they came with this little facsimile package right here. Um, and inside, I'll go ahead and show you. You open it up. And... <laughs> There is a little facsimile of the 4K Ultra HD case right there, which I think is pretty cool. I don't know if that could focus really that well. I feel like it's having a really terrible time focusing. I don't know. I'm using the iPhone 7S to film, and it is not looking too pretty. Um, but there you go. You can get the idea of it. So much like the movie, which I haven't seen this movie uh, yet, but I really wanted to. Um, directed by uh, Alexander Payne. Yes, Alexander Payne, who did uh, The Descendant, Sideways, uh, Election from back in the day, which got a, uh, just got a Criterion Collection release. has Matt Damon in here, uh, Kristen Wiig. Uh, Christoph Waltz is in here, too. And I guess all I really know is that they um, basically shrink people down. Um, and, yeah, one thing I thought was, was also kind of neat about this, they even give you, like, the little promo sheet in here, too, which I think is kind of cool. All the uh, information stuff. Um, kind of product review, but I, I thought that was a neat little kind of thing in there for that. Uh, very fitting for the movie. So I'm going to check this one out probably tonight. I'm um, looking forward to checking it out. I like the director a lot. I like the, a lot of people involved. Uh, I know it, it's supposed to solve like the biggest issue on earth, which is something I thought about for a long time. I've talked about for a while too, just overpopulation. Uh, but also when you shrink down, because everything is so much smaller, your money goes a lot further. So uh, I can't remember what it was in the movie, but like you know, the average person could be, you know, a multimillionaire in this little mini thing. There's this um, scientific thing where you can shrink people down. And they're all fine. And they're just a couple inches. I, I like the premise. I like the idea. It looked like quirky fun from um, uh, the trailer. So can't wait to see it. And I like that little promo item too. Uh, next up is something. That, here's a promo item where I was like, oh, really? Uh, a, a plastic spoon right there for the disaster artist. Um, this was nominated for Golden Globes, and I think, he, yeah, he, he won Best Actor, uh, James Franco, and it was odd because he wasn't nominated for an Oscar, but there was also a lot of things people were talking about, you know, there was, um, you know, allegations against him, and people think it was because of that. I really don't think he deserved to be nominated for uh, anything. Uh, it just seems like a bunch of friends got together and parodied The Room and, you know, Tommy Wiseau. The, the Room is supposed to be, like, uh, the, one of the best, worst movies 
know, along with Troll 2 and things like that, but uh, the acting was just so bad. Um, people just, they go to the screenings and they throw spoons, plastic spoons, at the um, screen. Like, there's a couple scenes where, I think there's like a few scenes actually in the room where there's spoons that are framed uh, behind the people. Like, when they're talking by the phone and stuff, there's like framed spoons and they never really explain why that is so people throw spoons like if the, these screenings are big events people like make fun of the stuff in there talk along with it you know throw the spoon so it's a big event when they do these screenings it's got cult status now um this movie it was interesting if you're a big fan of the room i think you'll enjoy the movie uh, i'm gonna be doing an unboxing for this and go over it a little bit more in depth but uh i i don't know i don't i, I can understand why people do enjoy it while there's an appeal to it not necessarily for me. There is an after credit scene where it has the real Tommy Wiseau in there. Uh, and there's some good um, special features in there too. But yeah, The Disaster Artist, that'll be out uh, next week. And that is from uh, Lionsgate, the plastic spoon right there. Uh, next up, oh, beautiful release from Arrow Video, and that is Basket Case. Uh, Frank Henelotto, this joins up. Brain damage for them. I love that slipcover too. One thing I will say is though, I do, I have the old school Blu-ray over here somewhere. Uh, I don't know where it is offhand, uh, but I do love that original artwork. I felt the same way about Reanimator. It's like one of those ones where it doesn't need newly commissioned artwork. If it's going to have newly commissioned artwork, I, I dig the slipcover. I wish it would have the old school, like the one, like the previous one. Of uh, They do have, uh, I'll show you in a minute, but the slipcover is so beautiful. There's a... Uh, blow right there and uh there you go that's the old school one that i remember but uh, on the blu-ray the the last blu-ray release for it's i love that artwork choice um there you go there's the booklet if you're a fan again arrow video i say this every time and i'm going to continue saying it every time when i talk about an arrow video release they are one of the best companies releasing blu-rays today from uh, now doing the slip covers the the transfers the special features uh, the newly commissioned artwork, the reversible artwork, the disc artwork, the booklets, just everything. The clear cases even too. I think if you're a collector, you'll appreciate that. And trying to get the slipcover back on there. There we go. But yeah, again, just a ton of special features on there. And um, I actually thought the transfer on the old uh, basket case one was pretty good. But this is a brand new 4K restoration from Original Negative uh, by MoMA. All right. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool and just a ton of special features so looking forward to revisiting this one always enjoy the heck out of it i like frank henlotter um and then next up are three ones from mvd this is part of their um uh their mvd rewind collection which i love this uh the slip covers that they have for it it kind of reminds me of i have an old vhs tape uh for hell knight like the, the media one which is very similar design uh the one thing though um these are uh, review copies right here uh MVD is one of those companies where they put a hole through there, which I don't understand why any company would damage their product so much where they put a hole through the barcode and they drill all the way through the front side where it goes through the artwork, through the slip cover. Uh, a lot of times it'll have reversible artwork and it just ruins it. I mean, obviously a lot of those people who are, a lot of people that are getting review copies are also collectors. You can see two of my bookcases behind me, but I have seven more bookcases filled with movies. I am a fan of film, cinema, Blu-rays. I collect them. So uh, I'm kind of annoyed by that. But for all you people who review Arrow Video Blu-rays, I just want to say you're welcome. Because it was uh, because of me that I uh, complained about these uh, holes that were initially through the Arrow US releases the same way as these ones. Uh, MVD is the one that uh, distributes Arrow Video through the US. Uh, but I contacted them uh, and they're like, oh, we'll make sure not to do that again. It kept happening. So I contacted Arrow UK, who was like, you know, the head PR person over there. And then they talked to the person over here and they got it all worked out. So, you know, I said, you know, part of the reason doing reviews for Arrow Video is, you know, part of the reason the set that they sell for collectors is the artwork. And if reviewers can't properly showcase that, you know, they're not going to get your uh, essentially your just due out of the reviews. Um, so I think that made sense, and I feel like they should be feeling the same way about their own uh, MVD Rewind collection. Um, I, I know a lot of companies do like a, was it a Severin, uh, Scream Factory, they do like hole punches through uh, the barcode. Uh, for Scream Factory, I think sometimes Severin does it too, reversible artwork. So that's another thing I feel like you shouldn't damage your product, especially if you're sending out review copies like that. I understand you're trying to make them so they don't resell them. I get that. Um, and then there's also, uh, Universal does like a slash through the barcode too, but something like this, this is the most egregious I've ever seen, and I still don't understand why they would 
do that to their own product. And then like I was opening some of these up. Uh, I didn't get the slip cover for this when I requested them late, but there's like all kinds of like shavings, like wood shavings just falling out of here. Uh, just, uh, you can see that right there, but it's, yeah, kind of, that's like a, a little bit of a rant right there. I have like all over my fingers now, but it's, yeah, some just flew out there, but I'm, one of the things I do like about these M MVD Rewind collection is, um, I don't know if there's stuff in there, but yeah, there's uh, posters in here, which I think is awesome. Uh, you've got a booklet. Here's a DOA dealing with kind of like a punk rockumentary. Um, pretty awesome. But I, I love the poster artwork. I love the design for these as well. Again, the kind of the old media VHS releases. I dig that. So I, I love what they're doing with uh, these releases and stuff like that, the design for it. And... Um, I would have loved to have had these without the damage to the artwork. But yeah, there's the interior artwork, which I think is awesome. So yeah, they basically follow the Sex Pistols on tour. Their only U.S. tour they broke up after this. Uh, and it also has a bunch of live performances with the uh, Generation X with uh, Billy Idol, The Rich Kids, X-Ray Specs, Sham 69, Sex Pistols, Dead Boys. So yeah, it has an infamous scene of um, Sid Vicious and Nancy in bed. And I know um, Sid and Nancy just got a uh, Blu-ray release from Criterion Collection. I'm looking forward to upgrading my DVD for that. Love Gary Oldman's performance in that. He just uh, deservedly won an Oscar. But yeah, that's uh, DOA. And then um, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes, super cheese right here. I actually, Arrow Video released their uh, the second one, which I love. And this has the nice, uh, no interior artwork on that one. But again, the cool looking poster, which you know, mine thankfully has the holes through it. <laughs> just kidding. But, uh, not thankfully. But, uh, yeah. So, four holes on there for me. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe, <laughs> you know, I'm thankful for the opportunity for reviewing. But I, I don't understand the egregiousness of putting it all the way through like that. But, uh, this one I'm really excited to check out. Black Eagle. Uh, I've actually watched a bunch of, uh, show, uh, Kazugi recently. Uh, a couple Arrow video ones. Uh, Rage of Honor and, um, I can't remember the other one right now. But it's, it's behind me somewhere. The other uh, Blu-ray one that they, um, uh, Pray for Death, Pray for Death. But yeah, I, I'm a big fan of um, Sho Kazugi. He's done some great stuff. John claude Van Damme's awesome. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out where they, you know, basically in their kind of prime, battling it out. And I think they're looking for uh, an F-11 gets shot down over the Mediterranean Sea, and they're trying to uh, find a, I guess, a top secret laser, uh, laser on the on there and the KGB sends John claude Van Damme and the US sends martial arts ninja, I guess a uh, martial artist, um, Shokazugi. So basically they just battle off. And again, I love the design. Looking forward to checking out the special features. Looks like there's a bunch of good special, um, good special features, but I'm looking forward to checking out the transfers as well. Oh, just a ton of the friggin' wood shaving just came out of there, like all over me now. Jeez Louise. I guess it's like wood, it looks like wood shaving and then like I guess the plastic shavings as well from the case. Hey, hey, this one doesn't have the holes through the poster. That's awesome. I'm probably going to put this on the wall if I like the movie. Uh, I think that's awesome artwork. It definitely screams kind of like uh, that 80s martial arts action movies where uh, that was like a big, big thing during that time period. So big popularity. Uh, no interior artwork on that one. DOA had the artwork. Uh, it's the only one. It's one, two, and three of the MVD Rewind collection. And I, I dig the heck out of that artwork. And um, yeah, this was trying to find what year this this came out. I'm looking on the back here, I don't see it right now. But I'm, it's gotta be the 80s, I'd imagine. Um, like mid 80s. Uh, yeah, I don't see it on here, but I'm definitely excited for this. Um, I know there's some other uh, good supporting cast in here too, but looking forward to the only one that I've seen out of this uh, these uh, MVD Rewind collection is Attack Killer Tomatoes. Super cheese. Looking forward to revisiting that one and then checking out these DOA and then um, Black Eagle. And there we go. Let me know if you've seen any of these movies and what you think of them and which one was your favorite. And let me know if you got any snow wherever you are, if you got any snow this winter season. Our winter season was pretty mild up until today, essentially. It's coming out like a crazy blizzard. Um, but yeah. It's, I'm looking forward, I'm going to pop in uh, Downsizing tonight because um, I wanted to see that one. And uh, Disaster Artist, I'll check out um, the special features a little bit more in depth in here. 
and I'll do an unboxing for that one coming up soon. Um, and then revisiting all the rest coming up after that, and I'll do proper reviews more in depth talking about them in the future. But yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think of them, if you've seen any of them. And I uh, hope everybody's doing well. Take care.